What is going on today guys? I'm Zanon, welcome back to another video. And today what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be heading down to Sydney Motorsport Park and going to an auto sport day, which is pretty much a day they hold every like two months. And pretty much what it is is uh, a lot of drifting. They have a skid pan with water on it um, and people can just go out there and slide. I think they have a figure eight open a lot. Um, so people are drifting in figure eights and also the main track might be open as well but before we did that i'm a little bit excited today um because some of you may know that i like v8 supercars and um if you play forza Motorsport sport 7 and you're interested in being in a v8 supercars league message me on my instagram and you can join because we have a league that is running every sunday at 9 30 a.m australian eastern standard time but yeah i'm a big fan of v8 supercars and today, um, I got two new cars, one being this right here, the Craig Lowndes Bathurst 1000 2018 Autobahn Holden, um, he won that. And then also down here, the Pertec, uh, Scott Pye car, I think from 2016. Um, the doors open, the hood opens, and yeah. So I thought I'd just, you know, give a little tour because I haven't for a long time. Um, if you've seen on my Instagram, you've probably seen most of these cars. But first of all, we have the 2017 Mark Winterbottom Bottolo car. Have the Craig Lowndes Bathurst winner car. We have the 2015 Championship Mark Winterbottom um, FGX Falcon as the same as my hood here um this came from the actual car if you didn't know we also have the 2017 mark window bottom bottle bathurst retro car we also have the 2018 mark window bottom um bottle car down here have shaz mustard 2015 pepsi max car have the Shaz Mostert 2018 Super Cheap Auto Car. Wait, no, 2017, sorry. We have the 2017 Shaz Mostert Retro Round at Sandown. We have the 2016, I think 2016, um, Shaz Mostert Super Cheap Auto Car and the 2016 Shaz Mostert Retro Round at Sandown. Down here is we have the Coulthard and Dalberto um, shell car. This came third at Bathurst in 2017. Um, yeah, then the Scott Pye car, Pertec. Then we have Cam Walters 2016 Monster Energy car. And the Cameron Walters 2018 Monster Energy car. Then down here, we have like a bunch of other cars. But I wanted to show you the box of the Lowndes car because I think it's just brilliant. A lot of work into the packaging on this. So it's got all the team um, classic collectibles. So I mostly have Apex, um, but I this is my first classic. So on the side, it has everything. Um, Lowndes Stephen Richards, 2018 Bathurst 1000 winners. It's got the picture of the whole team together. It's got them on the top and on the sides and everything. Then on this side, has a little bit of a description and them with the trophy. So I thought I'd show that because that's uh, really cool. But we should head down to the auto sport day. Ferrari, not too bad. Little Evo, not bad. Come over here. JZX, and the Subra.
So I didn't talk much in that video, um, it was just super loud and windy, but yeah there was just this skid pan on today, um, also heaps of motorbikes going around the track as well, and um, up here there was some drag racing and I think some more drifting, but I'm not really into drag racing so there's no use spending money to uh, go see that, but um, yeah it was a pretty good day. 
Um, I almost got to go in uh, the white BMW or the black Toyota Chaser, but I didn't bring a helmet or long pants. Um, so I wasn't able to, but I could have. So yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, definitely have to do it when I get my license. M power. Well, that was a white wide body GTL. So we're in a car dealing area. Um, it's called like a, some sort of strip or something. And I've wanted to come here for a long time, especially as they have a lot of really nice Japanese cars. So I thought I'd show you to them. We got a Levin A86. Uh, it's quite all right. So this is a place that sells like all um, imported cars so we got a leave-in that looks just insane that's a really nice one. got a Supra there an Evo here as well up there we've got a uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed up here or anything so this place is called Sunrise Dealer if you want to ever come here um, but yeah got this uh, Nissan they got an R32 in there and an MR2 as well so this is like all um, imported cars we come down here as well we got the Micra as well um, so it's like a, a quite a busy highway so all the import vehicles a Japanese Mini, which is crazy as. And another one down here. $21,000. Another one down in there as well. These things are mad. These things are getting expensive too. So if you want a Japanese Mini, I recommend getting them now. Just as the price is going up quite a bit. But we'll go see how much that leave-in is and the Evo and stuff. But I love these as well. Fargo's. They're really nice as well. But I don't think the leave-in has a press on it. I don't even know if it's for sale. But it is really nice. <laughs> oh, it's such a nice car. Evo Evo has a page on how much it is. 19000 for an Evo. Subra doesn't have one on it. And this one doesn't have one on it either. And... And yeah, it's got a... This. <laughs> and... Um... Yeah, it's got a lot of really nice cars. Here at the second dealer. Straight up, 180SX, Type X. Um, it is really nice. I'm pretty sure it's a Type X. It's definitely got the blade style. It's a Type S or something. But really nice. Um, definitely, I think, an import. Totally have that. Then we have this and Sylvia S15. Maybe a spec R. I'm guessing a spec R. I wish it had a price on it, which it doesn't. Um, amazing too. And a GTR R33 Skyline. That thing's really cool as well. And then another one as well here. Amazing cars. If you're wondering how much this is, it is 49,990, so pretty much 50,000. This one over here is 40, uh, 54,000, so pretty much 55,000. Um, both quite nice, they are definitely imports. Um, you can see with the 180SX, which I'm gonna guess is like in the 20,000s, 
Um, it's got the like Japanese stickers on them, so is this one, the spec R, I'm guessing. Got the uh, nice holding. Um, it's got yeah the Japanese stickers on it. I reckon this would probably be anywhere from like a couple twenty thousand to um, I don't know maybe even thirty. But I mean it does have rust on it and stuff, so it's probably from near the ocean. So um, we went in the place and the leaving is I think thirty four thousand. Day four thousand dollars. The Supra there, um, it was I think twenty something thousand dollars. Um, and I think both the Nissan Fair Lady and the R thirty two would have been close to a hundred k. Um, but yeah, a lot of really nice cars in there. <laughs> And we're maybe going to go to another one if we can find it. It's got Hondas like the SS60s or whatever they're called, S660s. Um, and I think it has like some more Japanese minis and stuff as well. So we're at this place called Heartbeat Cars and they got a lot more uh, interesting Japanese cars um, than like the GTRs and stuff. So I'll start with what they have here. We have a Figaro, Figaro, and a some sort of like Impala thing. So 20, 24, so a Thunderbird um, for thirty thousand, and a Figaro as well for thirty thousand. Oh well, twenty five thousand, and that would be amazing to drive. <laughs> That'd be so fun. That'd be such a fun car. So this is what else I wanted to show. This is a fairly new Honda S660 and this thing is amazing. Um, it doesn't have a price on it which is sad. It's red, it's really cute. It's a convertible as well. Um, okay, there's this one as well. It's a black one. It, it is. $34,000 for an S660 which is uh, <laughs> expensive but they're really cool we have this Toyota I think Land Cruiser um, it's quite rusty uh, I mean it's probably been near the ocean for a while it's turbo it's quite nice actually um, be a fun car to take off road but it is sold unfortunately I think no it's not sold it was clickbait it is forty thousand dollars as well so you could get a little Honda like that or a big Toyota like this for the same price I think that wraps up today's video um, earlier we also went and looked at a Subaru Impreza STI, a brand new one um, at Subaru, and also a BRZ, a Golf, a Volkswagen Golf R, and we tried to look for a 86 as well, but we couldn't find one of them. But um, yeah, I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.